Today we're going to look at Unreal settings to boost your productivity and quality of life. So I've opened the editor preferences here and the first one that I like to set is the asset open location. So in all settings, general appearance, you have the asset editor open locations and this allows you to specify where the asset will be opened. So if you click on that, generally when I'm doing my own projects, I might just go for the last docked window or main window. When I do tutorials, I like to choose the main window. So that allows you to predict where your assets will open instead of randomly opening somewhere else and having to find them. So I know that when I open this asset, it will open in the main window. Now, sometimes when you look at your screen, you might find that the text is a little bit too small if your eyes are tired or the monitor is far away. So the other setting I like to change is, so application scale here, so you could just change that to 1.3, and now everything will look larger. You can also do that via the, if you go to the tools, debug, widget reflector, you can change the application scale here. So one, 1.2, or in the editor preferences itself. The next settings I like to change are in the Blueprint Editors settings. So if you go here and look for Context Menu Show Favorites section, I like to take that on. What that helps with is that when you right click, you now get a list of favorites that you can choose. So say for instance, there's something that you use a lot of like Get Actor Location. You can now just go to that star and it will show up in your favorites section. So get actor location is now here instead of having to keep typing it. In the same blueprint settings, I like to scroll down to compile a save on compile and just set that here to on success only. You can also do that in the blueprint by going to the compile click save on compile on success only. What that means is that when you compile it will automatically save it without you having to save it as well. Then I like to scroll down further and in the experimental I like to turn on the allow explicit node disabling. What that allows you to do is say you have a blueprint and you didn't want that delay to happen Normally you'd have to bypass it like this, but now you can just right click, go down, and there is a disable do not compile. That means that the action we will jump from here straight to here without compiling this node. And you can turn it on and off by right clipping, right clicking, so to be always or development only. There is also a setting in the same Blueprint Editor settings, which allows you to choose classes which can be recompiled during play. So you can choose any of these classes and while you're playing you can jump out of Pi and make changes, recompile, and they should be pushed through to the editor. But your, your mileage will vary on that. You can only do simple things. The next thing I like to do is on the keyboard shortcuts here, Type in save all. Now the default is command shift and S. I like to add a maybe a function key. So now with just one press of a key, I can save everything. And depending on your sort of mouse software, you can maybe map these hotkeys for a particular editor to a left and right click, which just means with one click of the mouse, you can save everything as well. In the loading and savings menu, sometimes I change some of these settings. So you can change whether it loads the project default level or the last open level. So it always opens the one you were last on. The safest one is probably none because if, you, if your editor crashes because of some catastrophic mistake, at least it will always open up a level. You can also, when it tell it to prompt to open up assets that were previously open or to always restore them. So that can be a user choice. The next one I like to do is then 
is in the level editor viewports scroll down to look and feel and sort of maybe turn on some of these so enable combine translate rotate widget what that allows you to do is that you now get an extra one here so you can move it left and right and then there is an arrow there which means you can just rotate it in the Z rotation the other is the enable arc ball rotate so you might not be able to see it properly but if you go to the rotation here there is now this arc ball where you can just move the mouse and rotate it like an arc ball there's enable screen rotate you now get this yellow circle which allows you to rotate it in the direction of of the screen and then there is also this highlight objects under mouse cursor which means that it makes it easier for you to know which object you are clicking on if I'm using the state tree I will go to plugin state tree editor and again on the save on compile change it to on success only like we did for the blueprints if you type in show frame in the top you'll then get access to the editor performance show frame rate and memory click on that and then in the top right you'll be able to see your frames per second and the memory continuously while you're playing so that can be helpful as well there are a huge number of settings in the editor settings but the, those are the ones that I normally do myself I then go to the project settings and now there are some in here that I do like to change in the project settings and the general settings you can sort of change your frame rates so smooth frame rates fixed frame rates and change these numbers here to suit your needs if I'm getting issues with meshes I'm importing and their default collision where it says collision complexity project default then in the project settings I will often under the physics just change this from the default here to maybe use complex as simple or whichever suits my needs if I'm creating widgets you will notice that by default the widget blueprint there is only one class to choose from All right, so that was my base widget and then it's an empty widget and if I wanted to add something I would have to go through that process so sometimes in the project settings if you go down to the widget des designer for teams you've got access here where you can use a widget template selector so you could click on that then you can choose what templates are exposed to you when you create a new widget you can choose a default root widget to be one of those so you could say I always wanted to have a canvas panel you can also here choose your favorite widget parent classes so the user widget is by default I could click and I think we created a base class widget so that would be available as well now if I go back and I create another widget user interface widget blueprint I could now create a base class from here if I click on the normal user widget it will give me a choice of what I want my root widget to be and then it would come with a canvas panel or whichever root widget I chose so that can speed up your productivity with widgets Unreal 5.5 comes with this new widget preview feature so you can create a new widget preview so the widget preview is paused you can choose your widget type which could be our and we just created that new new widget blueprint and then you can click on the viewport and the first time you do it it will say that the re referenced widget needs to have can call initialized without player context so it will do that for you with a fix and now this widget that we created here will show up as a widget preview there is a setting in the project settings where you can by default just click this so now it will automatically work without having to apply the fix or 
in the actual class settings, I think, um, there should be a can call initialized without player context tick box. So you can use the widget preview. It is possible to export the settings that you've made and import them into a new project in the project settings. And in the editor preferences, again, you can export the settings you've changed, import them in, or even just set them as being your default settings for this editor. So those are probably the main settings which I change when I begin with a new project. As I said, there's a, there's a multitude of options available and it all depends on what your specific requirements are.